Okay everyone, welcome back and to another group SRT clearing and we're going to be clearing matters of the heart today. So we're going to be clearing anything that's held within the physical organ of the heart, any blocks, any programs that can be cleared out, any stifled energy, because there aren't really any blocks. Um, it, we just use the term blocks because it's, it's easier, but it's uh, anything that's stifling the energy uh, there uh, in the physical heart. Um, but also the energetic heart as well, across all the energy bodies. So we're clearing anything to do with matters of the heart that can be cleared that would most benefit for you for your highest good. So remember to set your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing for your highest good. And without further ado, I'm the, uh, the one behind the um, pendulum. Let's get stuck in, shall we? So setting your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing for your highest good. And we're off. So I'm working with the God team uh, again because it's um, a group clearing and it's running out the heart. Yeah, 0% positive, 100% negative. <clears throat> and where we're sitting in terms of status, we're at, oh, it looks like the one level. It's not the centered master, the one level of consciousness. So I'm just going to ask the teams, the God team there, to uh, clear away any programs, any blockages, uh, stifled energy of any kind in matters of the heart. So that's physical and energetic matters of the heart, clearing away any programs, any blockages, any stifling of the energy. Raising up to 100 positive down to zero negative for the highest good of anybody watching this. I'm going to try and keep this clearing at 15 minutes if possible. Um, and raising up to radiant love, new paradigm level from the one level of consciousness, which is right down here. And remember, we want to be all the way up here with our level of consciousness and up here and then even beyond the page. So um, if you've seen the other videos that I've done before, then that will explain more there. So we're clearing away any anything that can be cleared in order to allow... Uh, the heart energy to move freely and uh, abundantly for your highest good. And how is everyone today? I've actually got a summer dress on today. Summer has finally arrived at the time of recording. It's taken its time getting here. And dear old Blighty. So just reading whilst it's clearing that, just reading about heart planets. And uh, let me read this, read this to you. There are 40 heart planets in the one universe. All of them are called Earth. They are foundation planets and what happens on them affects the entire universe. This planet called Earth is the most important of the 40 heart planets. Also, it is the most challenging and difficult planet on which to live. You chose this planet because you wanted to finish your own process of spiritual growth and to help others. You came to make a difference. That's lovely. Oh, right. OK, we're there. So where are we going first? Matters of the heart. Chart 6B, which is blocks to positive expression. Inside left. Endurance. We've got blocks to endurance going on. Anything else? Let's clear all blocks to endurance from you. Did you know there were two, there are two hidden glands? The first is in the limbic system and is the seat of spirit. The second is behind the liver. It is the seat of the soul and is called the regenerative gland. You can actually uh, clear the regenerative gland using SRT here. There's a little bit of information for you today, if you weren't aware of that. Still clearing away all blocks to endurance. 
we store so much in our heart and of course it's our communication with our soul and our feelings and all these things but we store so much so many blockages we have so many cages around our heart and heart walls if you're a fan of the emotion code so many and we get hurt you know we put up another another blockage don't we to our heart we've got something else there on six feet let's have a look inside left what is it blocks to forgiveness any other blocks let's clear all blocks to forgiveness as well please from everybody here yeah we've put up all these barriers around our heart when we get hurt and when we've been hurt in the past we think that's the right thing to do because we're afraid of being vulnerable and we're afraid of the feelings overwhelming us and we don't have to let all the emotion out at once. We can let it out little by little. All that unexpressed emotion. Never set a time limit on your healing. It happens when it happens. What may take a year for somebody else may take 20 years for someone else. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It only matters that we're going in the right direction of that self-discovery and self-awareness. That we're allowing ourselves to open up and recognise we're children of God, children of source, divine love. I've had so many clients in the past that I want this transformation to take place within the next three months. Uh, I've set a time limit on my opening up, my healing, and it's going to happen by such and such a date. Um, so many, so many people I've had that over the years uh, and you, you cannot put a time limit on your transformation. You can't control your tra transformation. It will happen at the pace with which you're prepared to let go and surrender. Uh, and not many of us are open to surrendering that quickly because we're so used to holding on to stuff that we will allow ourselves to let go a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's a confidence building exercise quite often with your mind. Uh, you're almost convincing the mind how much better it is to let go. And you have to do it in a step-by-step -step process. Keeps taking me back to 6B. So there's obviously something I'm not clearing there. What else do we need to shift? Inside left. Blocks to a determination. What else? Outside left. Blocks to supportiveness. Inside right. Blocks to acceptance anything else no let's clear all those blocks away please cross all levels of consciousness across all time space and dimensional elevation seeds to its branches everything everywhere if you're interested in having clearings for yourself there's a um, uh, i don't do single clearings anymore uh for new clients i only do packages and that's because um you just get a much greater shift change with with a package um and you know don't expect it all to be resolved within one session you know it rarely is it's but you'll find long term you'll have a much greater indent in a particular pattern uh with a package uh, all these clearings always work at different levels so they never not work they always work how much they work depends on the individual client uh the individual person as to what else is running how much you're allowing, uh, allowing the success of that clearing. Um, for some, they have major breakthroughs and for others, well, I didn't notice anything, but subtle things change over time. So um, I've experienced everything personally with this. I've experienced emotion coming out of nowhere and I've experienced not, not feeling much difference. Um, but what I've always also noticed that over time things change, the way I've responded to things change. My mind is quieter, more content, uh, more joyful, 
joyful things seem to come my way more positive things seem to come my way so it's um uh, life is pretty good life is very good actually life is very good so uh these things change over time gradually um um let's have a look we're on chart level which is soul energy programming uh, pre-programming of the experiential path dysfunction of expression cleansing the soul of evil let's just clear all of those and let's cleanse the soul of evil which is a very biblical term and it's based on the bible this system the true spiritual meaning of the bible um but what we're basically doing is just giving the soul a good old spring clean uh of dense energy uh it's density we're we're looking at just dense energy heavy energy uh, pre-programming of the experiential path so we can clear that now lord of lords level first expression of the living soul and uh, dysfunction of expression as well there so this is all matters of the heart remember that we're clearing matters of the heart so the other thing i want to do clearing on this the liver so i might do that next because the liver puts up so much in our body always clearing and cleaning and clearing up our mess after us wonderful wonderful organ right where are we going next we are going to 18 higher level blocks which is great when we come here it's where the lords of karma sit so we know that the cycle is coming to an end when we come to this Ninth level of Supreme Council blocks, programs in the subconscious mind of I am, beings in God consciousness level blocking, blocks from the council within 2000 levels. So let's just get all of those cleared there. Cleared, harmonised, neutralised, brought into balance as much as possible. We can never have a perfect state of balance ever. All we can have is harmony. So, uh, because so much is going on all the time. So, and that's what we want. We want to harmonise ourselves with nature, with abundance always so let's clear all those blocks away and close those cycles there wonderful it's great when we come to this chart so for many of you that are watching this there are cycles closing karmic cycles that are closing for you and we like that we like that a lot So the new one universe was created on April the 24th, 1993. I don't have any other information, or do I, on that? There's nothing about multiverses in this system. And a lot of these systems, you know, they uh, it gets updated quite a lot by the practitioners. But um, we can also get ahead of ourselves as well, I think, as the human race. Yeah, on the 24th of April 1993, Spirit created a new one universe. The creation was scheduled to take place in August. In August, However, clearing the embryo caused it to happen earlier. There are an infinite number of one universes and each one it created is higher in consciousness than the preceding one. Each one universe is based on the experiences and knowledge of all the souls in the prior universe. Spirit then invests additional factors to make it higher in consciousness and potential than the previous one universe. There's a whole lot, load of information on that. You can get this information from uh, Robert E. Detzler's books, Soul Recreation and the Freedom Path, which is on based on the uh, uh, SRT, if you're interested. Okay. Where are we going next? 22, the new one universe. I just happen to be talking about it. Interesting. It's always a reason I talk about certain things. Resolving discord at all levels of chart three. That's where our consciousness is uh, in the system. Awareness of nine Godhead councils. The Godhead is all, all is the Godhead. So let's just clear any blocks to those and resolve all that discord for everybody that's watching this for their highest good. I'm going to go over 15 minutes again. Sorry about that. Clearing any blocks to the awareness of the nine Godhead councils as well. 
there's always a reason I get drawn to read certain things out of the, the book. So, um, so if you're listening, you know, maybe there's something pertinent that you need to listen to. So we need to clear the personal soul package, do a head to toe search and clear, clear the nine councils in this one universe and then wrap up there. So let's just do that. Let's clear your personal soul package and do a head to toe search and clear. Here in the nine councils in this one universe as well. Thank you. Twenty-eight is final forgiveness. So we're clearing for integrity of consciousness and we're clearing the void. Let's do that now. In connection with matters of the heart for your highest good. Again, I'm not going into any, any detail here. Um, I'd be going into a lot more detail if I was doing an individual clearing for you. This is just a taster, really. Chart 31, which is memory clearing. 2,600 pathways. King of Kings, levels of consciousness, these are. Uh, and is it archiprints? Kind of like archetypes. Archiprints, so let's just clear all of those. Let's see if I can find the official for you. Arga prints are set up during the creative process and are involved in the first draft, 83 waves of expression and the 2600 pathways. They contain both positive and negative factors and come in layers. So we ask for the clearing of all negative archiprints and at all levels, which is what we're doing right now. And the 2600 pathways uh, are pathways of evolution that lead to human expression. There are 136 major categories involved in the 2,600 paths, and one of the categories is animal, which consists of 540 of the total 2,600. All paths are prior to and precede the creation of mankind as a spiritual body stroke living soul. The paths in total contain everything that is the embryo, divine plan, first draft, 83 ways of expression and rim of creation. When the first six inches below chart three, that's the levels of consciousness uh, that I showed you right at the beginning, are indicated, it involves the 2,600 pathways. Below that are the ways of expression and further below that is the room of creation. And chart three, we're talking about is here. So when anything below that, below the incarnation level are 2,600 pathways and so on, that I've just been discussing. So we're ending up with much denser energy down there. Okay, anything else there? No, should we go to mop up? Okay, Is there any, are there any echoes, residues, shadows, seeds that are still remaining there? Anything else needs to be cleared before we go to mop up? No, can we go to mop up now? So let's just go to mop up. We're just going to do a very quick mop up for the group clear. I'm not going to go into any depth here, but I'm just going to ask your teams to go through the mop up list that I have for the benefits of this group clearing so that we keep it uh, brief. Like all these group clearings, although they're very, very powerful for many of you, they're also tasteless, really. Uh, you can get details of my SRT package uh, or working with me one to one um, on my website, carolinecousins.com forward slash work with me.
my one-to-one -one Zoom sessions, um, I work very differently. So uh, it's got a, it's like a combination of therapy, uh, therapy, healing, spiritual teaching, uh, shifting stuff all, all at the same time, coaching and mentoring as well. So it's like a, a very much an individual session. Those that have worked with me will... Uh, hopefully uh, support me in that description it's a bit of a mix but it's it's quite powerful so are we done there yeah are the souls happy the high self team's happy will it hold for every for everybody will it hold yeah good okay so anything else to be done right now okay where are we um going for this now 100 positive zero negative which is where we want it There we go, Radiant Love, New Paradigm Levels. So seal the cash records with those changes for everybody there. And um, I hope you got the benefit of that. And um, any uh, constructive comments, any requests for clearings. I always do the most popular ones first. So, um, so some of you may wait a little bit longer uh, for your requests, but um, just let me know what it is you'd like me to work on. Uh, that would benefit the most people ideally, but I will get, get to your request at some stage or another. So um thank you so much for your input and um big love to you all